three, two, one. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a simple and easy step-by-step -step tutorial on the Crochet Goddess Faux Lock. And today I use the Bomba Dreadlocks in the color 27. This is by Bobbi Boss. I'll put everything in the description bar below. And you are also going to need a crochet needle. You can find this at any beauty supply store. Um, it's pretty much sold everywhere and it's pretty much really easy to use. I will get to that later in the video on how to use it and how to make sure your hair stays in. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, I started off by braiding my hair. It's a little messy. Um, it doesn't have to be neat, especially if you're doing crochet because you're going to be covering the braids. I am natural and I usually stretch my hair before doing it, but I couldn't this time. So um, I went ahead and just went ahead and braided it and then, you know, had a little pattern. I just really just braided it all down. But if you'd like to see how I braided it from beginning, just let me know and I can make a video about that and show you guys how I did that. And yeah, this is basically how it looks. That's basically the pattern. It's not so neat, but I mean, it's it's whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys where everything goes. We're gonna take our crochet needle and we're gonna have our hair, and this is just one lock of hair, and that hole is what you need to make sure you're taking note of. So the hair looks very, very natural, as you can see. Um, this is probably the best brand that I could actually find. So we're gonna take our needle, and I'm going to show you guys the hole once again because we're going to need to make sure that we know where the hole is at all times because that's what you hook onto to create your knot. Okay, so now we're going to stick our needle pin into the braid and we're just going to hook it like we're fishing, like literally. Like, then we're going to close the latch and we're going to pull it through slowly and we're going to look for that hole again. And we're going to open that up and we're going to take the lock itself and take it through to create a knot. And we're just going to slowly and carefully, I'm not really careful y'all, but you're going to slowly do that and then just kind of pull on it. And that's how you do the first one and that's basically how it's going to look. It doesn't have to be like super, super neat or super like tight, honestly. Bare your edges, man. Save them. <laughs> so we're gonna do it one more time. And I'm gonna show you guys how it's done, and then we're gonna find the hole, and we're gonna open the latch, and then we're just gonna pull through and put our lock on there. Then we're gonna just take our lock and knot it, just like that. Yep, it's just really, 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 really easy. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do one from the back, and it's gonna be the same exact method. Just pull it through and then find your hole and then just take your lock and drag it through. And that's basically what we have so far. You see how we have a space right there and I can fill it for this space? I'm going to need to put at least one or two more in that spot and your fingers can help as a really really good measure for how many more braids you need in an area or what you want to do next when it comes to adding locks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those two. Now that I'm done with that row, I'm going to start on my next row and I think I like how it looks so far. Um, it looks pretty natural and it's pretty full for that braid. I have about, what, six braids or six locks on that line, so yeah. I'm gonna start off by doing my next row and closing the latch and then Pulling it through the hole. So I'm just going to continue putting these locks in one by one. And I'm pretty sure that it's pretty much self-explanatory from here. I really hope that what I'm doing is kind of helping you understand uh, what it's going to look like. And yeah, I'm just going branch by branch with my braids. And I'm just kind of just filling it in. I noticed that per pack there were about 15 locks and yeah, that kind of helped me gauge how much I would need for one braid so I just kind of went with that. Now that we're in the back, I just wanted to show you guys how it looked and um, it's pretty much still the same. You just kind of want to fill everything up and make sure it looks 
neat. You don't have to worry too much about the back unless you're trying to show off the back of your hair, which I wouldn't do because this is crochet. But you can like tie a scarf and kind of go from there. So you don't have to worry about the back of your hair being like super neat. Just kind of fill your braids in and don't worry about trying to do the most back there. So we are almost done. I have the middle part to do now and I'm just going to slowly and carefully make sure that I'm putting in enough lock so that it can look full in the front and kind of have a good ending. You're going to want to be specific about the kind of ending that you want. Do you want it to be full? Do you want a middle part? Do you want a side part? And I definitely am a middle part girl so I went ahead and stuck with that. Even though you can wear it on any part. Now that I'm done, I'm just gonna look through and just kind of feel and make sure everything's looking good, tighten everything up, make sure that, you know, I'm looking crazy, basically. So yeah, I think I really like it so far. Now I'm going to just play around with it and I'm going to go ahead and start the process for curling it into my goddess locks. Y'all! To prep for the goddess lock curl pattern I'm going to start by braiding my hair and you're going to want to take semi large but medium portions and you're going to want to braid that all the way down into just a normal braid and you're going to want to try to get most of the braids in because you want a lot of well you want all the braids to touch the hot water so try your best to tuck in all the braids some will sprout out and it's so annoying like I was just like bruh but um, just keep on braiding to the tip of it. I went ahead and dipped them in the hot water and basically what I did with the hot water is I boiled it till it was extremely hot and I just dipped that much in, just that portion. And then um, after dipping it in the water for about two to three seconds, I took it out and I dried it off and I let it cool down and then I started to unravel it like I'm doing right here and it gave me this really pretty curl pattern and that's what I love about um, the goddess faux locks. So we're just going to take out each and every one of them now that they've dried and they're cool. They don't have to be completely dry but as long as they've cooled down you can comfortably take them out and have the perfect curl pattern that you want. So yeah that's basically how it looks so far and now we need to cut it, cut it, cut it. We need to cut it out. We need to cut the extra stuff off and just kind of get that off and, you know, make it look a little more neater and more natural. So I just went ahead with the, you can actually just directly cut them off if you want to, but I'm just kind of doing the layered cut off, which is so unnecessary because I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just a college girl trying to make it in life. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, you can just keep cutting as you want as you want to. I chose to stop here and then I found some others that I wanted to cut, but yeah, that's basically how it looks right now. And um, yeah, those are the curls. And yeah, I pretty much really like them. They came out really, really good and I am pleased with them. <laughs> This is basically my finished product and I'm just kind of looking through for any loose or any awkward looking locks and then yeah, that's basically it. I love them guys, like I really really love them. This is basically what it looks like guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Peace, love, and blessings. Beauty mama, you know I like you so hard. Oh, you talk to me, oh, mama. Free, oh, my love, so let me die with you. Baby, oh, I see
find it in you Oh, yes, you can find it in you See, if I'm to choose When you're not, you know Because honestly, like I said before God's time is the best time Like, you can